Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of, well, an update for the channel as going forward. I'm trying to hold myself to making this a 10 minute video, at best a 20 minute video, because I made the last one about 30 minutes and I was like, that is way too long for a simplistic update on this channel. So I, I well, it's maybe less simplistic, but you know, going into the new year, I kind of had some thoughts I wanted to get done. Um, so I'm going to keep the emote slot stuff open because I'm going to probably be picking up a lot of these. So, uh, first thing comes first. Many of you are going to be wondering, Demon, why are we here? Mainly because I want to do updates, and I have to do them, as I said, so it's fine. Uh, well, I, well, getting into it. One, uh, in terms of videos, you guys are going to consistently be getting more Final Fantasy stuff until it's about done. Uh, the only issue I'm running into is there's a there's a going to be a part in it where I don't think the updates are going to come out in time for it, so I can do New Game Plus. Um, I unfortunately had a very bad problem with it and it kind of put my character as they're showing in a panic um, because I accidentally had a very um, crushing point hit because I didn't realize my OBS had said my SSD had run out of space um, and unfortunately it, I was I was so mad about it dude I was upset I was irritated there was so much going on with it because there was nothing I could do um, and it went through a critical point in the story, which is something I'm going to have to replay. Um, as of right now, the only thing I could think of, to be honest, which was... Oh, I'm making my character sleep. No. Uh, the only thing I think of is I'm going to have to... I will play the video. You guys will get a warning on it. I will also sit there and say... Um, I don't know if I'll put it in the actual... Um, title but i will be putting it into the description i also leave a comment on it so anybody who's wondering what's going on uh why it's the way it is it's, it's because i got kind of screwed um as i said new game plus hasn't come out yet for this so i can't do replay the endwalker story the only thing i could do is literally make a new character or buy it and then go back through it really fast but as of right now i don't feel like dealing with that and that's way too much money so it's kind of like I, i'm stuck with what i got so what i'm gonna do is it's going to cut off at a point. I'm going to see if I can find all the cutscenes that go along with it. Have it go from there. Uh, do the dungeon that's a, that is with it. And then follow up with the remaining cutscenes. And have an ending to it. Which will probably be me apologizing for probably the second time in the video. <laughs> and the third time it will come in through the comment section. Uh, but it's really the only thing I can really do. So I'm kind of stuck with what I have. Um, at least until New Game Plus is again as I said comes out. And I can replay that portion of the story. Then re-upload that episode. Um... And kind of have it set. The only problem is, is like it, it's like an hour-long episode, so maybe I'll have like a special time where it'll come out. But it, it really comes down to the fact that I need that done. Um, other things uh, besides FF, I am playing a little bit of Hearts Iron Four in the background. I have a Soviet game that I'd like to continue. Uh, so do please keep a lookout for it as we continue. Uh, it'll be a historical Soviet Union. Uh, so far, I've only got four episodes with it, three different recordings. Um, I'm going to be splitting one of them up because it was like over an hour long and I'm kind of like, yeah, this is way too long. So I'm just going to have to kind of just slap it over into the quarter and hope for the best with it. Um, so the only problem is also with four episodes, I'm already in 1945 and you guys are going to go, how the hell are you in 1945? Pretty much, uh, with 1960s mod and combining with my processor, again, Hoi runs pretty fast because of the 60s mod. It cuts off all the AI from building a lot of units, and it honestly is probably one of the greatest things I, I ever uh, got in that game. So, personally, it makes me very happy, and I can never have to deal with it again. But I also give you a very high thumbs up. Please download the 1960s mod. It will save your game. <laughs> really, it will. Then it's very well worked out, and it's a great, it's a great thing to have. Um... Besides that, um, I don't know how much I'm going to be um, playing more of it, just because um, I really have to psych my I is my character. So I have to psych myself up to play it. And the problem is that learning the new methods for that game is very difficult. And the supply system is something I'm both in, I love, but I also in a bit of a hatred towards it. So it's kind of like a love hate relationship that I sit there and deal with it. So I'm, I, I I just don't know what to do with it. Um, I think supply hubs definitely need to get reworked. I think they should definitely lower the amount of time it takes to build them, as vital as they are, because it feels like I don't have anything to work with. Um, resources are another problem. Even in the 1960s mod, it can be a pain in the ass to have enough resources. Soviet Union, not so much, because you have the chromium reserves to really work with. Tungsten, on the other hand, is a little bit of a fighter. Um, and rubber is not a problem because of synthetics. But again, I can always up the resources on it, so... 
the vanilla game resources are bad like they are really bad i don't know how anybody is going to be able to build a giant tank army with those things especially if you're trying to make really good tanks you, you're spending so much time dealing with it it's a pain in the ass so I, and, and i also try to up the engine as fast as I, as much as i can i have like 10 kilometers set out for like a medium tank build but you're like spending so much time with it, it's worthless. It's better just to build basic infantry divisions and build a bunch of casts and planes and just kill everything. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I know I definitely do. But um, truly, just it's it's just a mess to deal with, and I kind of just have to tolerate it for now. Um, I will say this much, though, that if you want to play as a country that will probably surprise you the most, I definitely highly recommend also play Japan. It's much more fun now, because the supply system is such a mess, and CAI AI can't like, mass-produce, like... 200 infantry divisions and you sit there and just have to blow through them with your much higher quality ones you actually kill them in a snap it's really great but nonetheless it's still a fun game to play and i'm in i highly recommend try japan out it, it looks fun but the miners seem to be almost impossible to play as the only minor well probably like not really a major but not a minor either is probably poland poland probably be your best bet if you want to play as something like that otherwise it's kind of like that's just how i roll with it um same time, I also want to try to get, for this year, done Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 for Legendary Edition. I don't know when I'll get around to it, so it's kind of like, don't be too disappointed by it if you sit there and don't, if it takes a while for me to finish it. I don't know how many people are interested into that series, but personally, I enjoyed it myself. Because um, I, I just love the games, but at the same time, I'm also, I've played it enough that I... I really do not like it that much anymore because I've beaten it so many times so just expect me to play it but um, I at least want to get one of them done this year um, and it'd be make it make me happy um, if I get three done as well that'd be great um, I'm not playing Andromeda you couldn't pay me enough to play it so do not ask me I will not play it because it makes me so angry playing that that game had so much potential and the fact that they did what they did just bioware really screwed up and I, I i i'm still angry about that um another game that i have playing also in the background is ck3 i ended up buying it as well so it's going to be a bit of a learning experience so just expect me to take several months before i if i do decide to record stuff because i have to learn the goddamn game it is a pain in the ass to try to learn it well it's not really a pain in the ass it's just i don't know how fast things should be going on it feels like a very slow drawn out game and, I, and I'm used to the 100 years thing, but at least from what I can see, it goes on for at least 200. So it, it is a bit of a thing to deal with. So it, it, it I have to learn that whole way it works. Um, and until then, it's kind of like there's nothing really else I can do about it. Um, besides that, I also am playing... I plan to do more Vicky 2 for you guys as well. So please look at for it i'm going to be trying to play it i know some people wanted me to play whenever i was finishing up the last series for it but again it's kind of like i enjoy this game and i have fun so look at me i enjoy this game it is very entertaining and i have the most fun playing it at the same time though um if i do play it i'm thinking about doing the uncivilized mod because i think it'd be the most fun and random to play just because everybody's kind of on an equal footing except maybe japan japan's op in it um and it re they really are because you can get korea manchuria and mongolia in that game and then civilize and then just start killing china it's really not that hard to work with um but i will be trying to play it without the um mishmash mod which changes the map textures and everything because i, I i'm kind of confused as to whether i'm dealing with the uncivilized mod or that mod where it's changing certain parts of the map because some of the territories look like they have dual names on them and I'm thinking it's because those two are conflicting with each other and it's a bit of a problem I want to deal with. Um, besides that, um, if I do play it, I'll figure out what country I want to play as. I was thinking maybe, um, I mean, we could do Middle East. I could do that as the, I could do that as the Persia game or play in India. That'd actually be kind of fun. Uh, it'd definitely be a change in it'd definitely be a change in stuff. Otherwise, I, I don't know really what I'll do. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I know Metro Exodus is another thing I keep thinking back on playing, but I don't know. Kind of, I'm always sleeping it off onto the side because I just, as much as I want to play it, it, it's it's a matter of driving myself to play it. And Metro kind of, I like the first two. I, it, the third one does interest me, and I really want to play it, but it's just kind of like 
my brain is like, no, play more of this game. You have fun with this game. Keep playing Final Fantasy and do that on your free time. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, then it's been just kind of hard trying to figure out times to try to record. And then if I do record, I have to hold myself to it. And by the time I'm done with it, I'm just pretty much... <sighs> I'm just completely just exhausted. It, it, it's a mess to deal with. That's kind of why I kind of can finally understand like why, what a lot of people meant by when you play these games. You kind of reach a point where like you get burnt out and you can't keep playing. Now, the difference with me playing this all the time is I can go run around in the golden saucer and do like little mini games and kind of like hold my attention and it's fun. And, it's, and you get different maps. Uh, at the same time, sometimes you sit there and see new people and you kind of interact with people once in a while. I mean, yeah, what a shocker. But nonetheless, I, I don't honestly interact with too many people. It's it's, it's kind of just fun to just, like going around seeing people's characters and stuff. I know Limsa is pretty much the place you always want to go to if you want to look out to see all, everybody dressed up as like their master classes. Um, but nonetheless, I think there's that. Project Zomboid is another game that I'm playing with Red. Um, as of right now, we're kind of keeping it on the down low because, um, at least for us, um, we're doing it in a private server and not one where I paid money. <laughs> yeah. If anybody here ever dreams of me paying money for something, you are crazy. I am not paying to have a server. Pretty much. I just have it saved to myself and he can join it whenever he wants. It's really cool. I actually highly recommend it. Um, we're playing it in like the beginning of an apocalypse. So there's like a lot of resources right now and it's a lot of fun i cannot i cannot deny it we we pretty much were enjoying ourselves a lot it was a lot of fun um i died once i think reds died three or four times i died once because of um i got bit and died like a week week later it really sucked i think he died because we were trying to find each other so he let a bunch of zombies kill him because he was gonna die anyway and then whenever he dealt with that we had another situation where he chose to die again, and then he got bit when we were near houses. Then he made a new character, and that's kind of where it ended up at. Besides me, I only died once. I did pretty good. And now we're now we got. Then we found a place like loaded with guns. We found a gun store. We have so much ammo and guns. I told him I'm like, there's gonna be a point in this game where we're gonna lose access to all this, so you're gonna want to have all we can get right now. So we both kind of agreed on that, and it's just kind of like. I'll take this, I throw this over to you, you get, we have van and then a uh, delivery truck. I have the delivery truck with all the guns, he has the food, the medicine, everything else in a van. It's pretty cool. Um, so if you, if you can, I recommend getting projects on board. I think it has a lot of potential and I do see streamers playing it and some YouTubers. So there's a chance it's probably going to go into like an Among Us setting at some point just because the game has so many options to it. Um, so don't be surprised if you sit there and see like a bunch of like higher like bigger youtubers playing it and i definitely highly recommend it because i know for me i enjoyed it um I'm trying to think if there's any other games not right now i know mythic's also been trying to get me to go replay squad again i bought squad twice the first time i bought it i kept it for so long and then never played it so i returned it second time i played a tiny bit with red but i was like very I'm trying to think of the word I'm, I want to sit there and say I, I was just disappointed heavily by the game because I tried to ask people how to do stuff like everybody's in a, like a bitchy mood in, in the server so it was like nobody wanted to answer questions and then I, I I got really mad at Red because it's just like cause I'm trying to ask questions and nobody's answering everybody's in freaking game chat just screaming about stupid stuff like, oh there's guys over here i'm like how the hell do you how the hell do you drag somebody's body and revive them and nobody would give me answers i'm just like and the guy in the the guy in the chat was just like texting and saying do you not know how to do it i'm just like i don't i'm trying to ask people in our discord but nobody's answering me and i'm just sitting there in a freaking panic the whole time trying to figure out what to do and he nah, never got help so it was a rather boring experience um i know at one point we were thinking about getting rust too but uh, I don't think I could play Rust. Rust is like playing Ark, and if I'm gonna play it, I'm, I'd rather play by my. I'd rather play on my own server on Ark because then I can kind of run around and screw around. And I haven't played Ark in a long time. I did enjoy it when it first came out, but there's just I just kind of lost interest. And I think as most people did, just because you had that like it, it was just a point where you just got kind of got bored. So I mean, I paid my respects. The game was fun while it lasted, and I still like the idea of it. But I'd I'd like to see how well it runs with me on my computer the way it is now. Um, cause I think I could play in 2k and have a lot of fun. 
Um, besides that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to discuss game-wise. I think that's about it game-wise. Um, I think I'm getting close to the 15-minute marker, or I am at the 15-minute marker. So I kind of should be getting ready to start wrapping this up a little bit. Uh, beyond that, I know with the new year coming, as I said, those are my kind of my goals. Um, I already started the raid for Pandemonium in this. Um, I've already done it. It was actually a really fun raid. I thought it'd be a lot more complex than it was on the first floor, but it really wasn't. The um, first one was actually rather easy. Because um, I watched videos and all of them are like three minutes long. So it's like only like three minute long like videos, but it takes like 10, 15 minutes. Or it takes about 10, 15 just to finish a boss because of how hard it is. Uh, the first one was actually rather simplistic and easy. The second one I found to be a bit more difficult because of its AoE attacks that would do room at wide attacks. Um... The third one, I did not personally find it that hard, um, but we did have a wipe on it, which kind of sucked. Well, we had a wipe on, I think, no, no, we didn't wipe on the second boss, even though the AoEs were beating us, because we had a, somebody got very, very lucky, and we had Limit Break 3, so they rose all of us back up, and we all, like, cheered them on and stuff. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. It was a good game. Uh, third boss had a wipe. And the fourth one, nobody died, and the fourth one I actually find to be easier to play than the third one. Because the third one has a couple game mechanics I think people don't know to look for, versus the... Oh god, sorry about that. Fourth one is like more... It, it, it takes a while to kill the boss, but once you learn the game mechanics, it's actually very easy to win. And I, I didn't find it that hard at all. Um, besides that, I think the only thing I can leave out, I leave uh, for the last, which is something I wanted to provide an update on, is something that I think you guys will see um, when this episode gets released, sometime either during it, after it, and going into the next episode, or into the next FF uh, episode, which will come out at 3.30, um, and it'll be this, and it's first things first, um, there's going to be a bit of a change to the damn channel, first being... This character right here, as you can sit there and see it in all her glory, this is what she looks like now. You guys will see her in Final Fantasy wearing short shorts and having blue hair with white added to it. Highlights. This is what she looks like now. She's the heart of the channel. So guess what? I'm using her for everything. Because I played enough Final Fantasy and I'm, so I've reached the point where I've kind of grown dull to it. So I'm kind of just, I thought it over a lot and I was kind of like, I wonder what I should do to change up the channel. And I had the B29 thing going for a while. But I never had a banner. So what I thought was, I don't own the freaking Google picture of that B29 thing I found. Because I just found it online and I kind of said, screw it. And I, I've used it for such a long time. But being the way I am now, I kind of went, eh, who cares? Maybe I should just switch it over. I played this character enough. I'm not ashamed of playing this female character too much. And, it, and she's the heart of the channel. Who gives a damn? Because maybe more people will be interested in watching the series. So, expect to see more of her. She's going to be the gamer picture for the channel, and she will be in the banners. So enjoy as she sits there. So very much, I would very much appreciate it if you guys can all give her a nice warm welcome as she sits there and takes over the channel, looking as she does now. So it will be, will be fun because this is about the this is the most normal person I can make out of this because I don't have a face cam. So and I have no drawing abilities and I don't feel like paying people money to draw stuff when I can just take a picture in G-Pose and never have to deal with this again. So, as I sat there and said, um, enjoy it as she takes over the channel and I personally don't really mind it. Um, hopefully the pictures don't look that weird. I really hope not. I hate, I just find that stuff to be weird and some people do. Um, personally, but, and that, and this is probably the most normal looking character you could possibly have in this game. A lot of people wear a lot more skimpy stuff, and some people wear next to nothing. This, this is pretty, uh, this is pretty average, if I say so myself. So, uh, just let me know in the comment section for the, uh, the update. I'll probably say something, and I'll probably leave a comment as well, so they're making mentions of it. So, saying, hope everybody's okay with the channel switching the way it looks. Um... Because I, I, I know view-wise, Final Fantasy hasn't had too many views. I see primarily, because I know I try to watch the episode myself just to make sure everything kind of worked correctly, make sure there's no problems. Um, and once in a while, if it's like a dungeon or something or a trial, I do, I do notice somebody come in and watch because I think it's kind of like they're looking for the trial themselves. But personally, like most of the trials I didn't, or most of the dungeons weren't that hard to me. I don't know if anybody else had that feeling, but... I didn't find them to be that difficult. They were actually pretty simplistic in nature, so I enjoyed it myself. And with the AI, it was very easy to beat. Maybe the trials and the 
were the hardest just because we had to deal with like game mechanics from like without them so you didn't you didn't have access to like somebody you could read the movements for so it does make it harder um but nonetheless as i sat there and said i i just kind of thought it over i was just I, I was very concerned with it i was kind of like maybe i should change it up the channel hasn't had a a rework for a while and i figured this character was perfect for it so as i said before give her a warm welcome enjoy seeing her in all her glory because i don't really mind playing this character i've kind of grown numb to it i think that's like most people like you play as something long enough you really don't notice it especially this i don't mind she's much better looking so i'd rather see it there and see her all day long than anything else um so nonetheless all i have to say is this. please like subscribe leave a comment down below uh, when we come back, 3.30, you guys will be seeing the Final Fantasy episode. And as far as I am concerned, I hope everybody had a very good Christmas. I hope everybody has a very good New Year. And as far as I am concerned, hopefully everything works out. Because I really hope for 2022 to do better than the last two have been doing. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.